In today's episode of Enshrouded, I shoot a guy in the back. Bake some bread. And wake up in a strange place. What? Here we go! So it's rest. I left you on a bit of an edge last time with this place. This is one hell of a bandit camp. Look at them. They're everywhere. It's a big, big old place. Um, but as a sharpshooting, bow-wielding beast, almost godlike flameborn running around these plains, these, these guys have no chance. I mean, I can just pop them from over here. They didn't even try and get to me or fight back or anything like that. It's, it's, it's embarrassing what it is. Unbelievable. I mean, let's go, I suppose. <laughs> what they got? They ain't got nothing. Big green green guy. Alright. But the green guys do have me a little bit like um you, you know I, I I take a I take a second thought about the green guys before I engage. Because they are that little bit tougher, faster, they hit harder, and they're a bastard. But they do growl, so we hit him a few times in the face while he roars. And then um, give him the old switcheroo like that. Oh, there's all my fossilized bones. Where did he go? Where did he? There he is. What am I hitting? There we go. <laughs> the most imperial levels of AI <laughs> going on, isn't it? Just stuck on everything. And easy. I'm going through arrows like crazy, though. 233 poison copper arrows left still. Um, so I'm not worried. As long as, you know, I don't keep missing like I'm, like I'm currently missing like crazy. Like, whee! Whiff, 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 whiff. Look at all these dead dudes. Eggs. Eggs. There's quite a lot of loot here. There is quite a lot of loot here. It's a good, good place. Hi. Get on, doggy. Yeah, I think, um, can I go around the, thank you. I'm kind of, like, stuck on there like glue. It was really weird. Go around the logs. It's kind of toasty next to that fire. All right. The, um, the shroud is creeping in here, but I think they probably, yeah, that's where I came in the end of the last episode, isn't it? Right, okay. I remember now. So yeah, we got, probably got, like, a boss fight here, I think. Um... Somewhere. It's quite a big place. We've got to go through there, obviously. But let's have a little look around. Before we decide anything. There's some explodey boys. Give me some explodey boys. Some loot. Books and whatnot. Drop through there. Oh, yeah, nice. Repair station. Always good. Go. And that's loop back round. Okay, so there's a house up here. Bell peppers. This is where we, we grappled up, but we didn't actually explore. Hello. Yep, switch to the axe. That's a light source. One thing I miss about the spectral shield. 
I got the spectral shield on my um, chaos character, and it's a light source, so just a lot of walk around the dungeons with the shield up. Both as a light source and protection. It works beautifully. Lovely. More peppers. Hello. The music has changed, indicating that I am under attack. Never mind. Okay, what am I out of food-wise there? Meat. Here we go. Right, real quick speed looting around here, but I'm not seeing anything. There's no chests or anything in here. There's some scrap metal. And that appears to be it. There does appear to be an upstairs here, but I'm quite sure if I can get up there. Let me try something. Yes. That looks like it might just be nothing, though. That's an interesting design. I kind of like it. Hmm. I did not mean to do that. Or that. Yeah. <laughs> or any of that. <laughs> I'm really good at this game, guys. Honest. Honest. Why don't you believe me? Hello. Hey. Oh. Where are we going here? This looks like it's going out, actually. This looks like it might be a way in. But but not. Hello. What have we here? I have like a secret area. This is cool, though. Oh, I got some... some pretty cat. Well, you know. You gotta pick your fights, dudes. You're picking on me. Ain't gonna work. Alright, what else we got around here? This looks like a nice little climby thing. You might actually come right back round the back end of the rest of the camp, maybe. Oh my god, where is this going? Um, we're okay, we're okay. Bit of climbing. Grappling. Bukes and such. Wait, why is that glowing orange? You see that? Like an orange glow going on there. Dismantle. Dismantle. It's weird, isn't it? You can dismantle stuff like much easier from above and below. <laughs> it sort of glitches through. Alright. Um, I guess I'll loot that string. Thank you. Aha. Whoop. That's precarious. There we go. Hello. GK. Limestone blocks. Bingo. Secret basement door at the carpenter. Limestone blocks achieved. Nice. Very nice. So, do a cheeky grapple onto that. Alright, there's some explodey boys up here. And a locked door. What gives? Nada. Mm, some fur. <laughs> Absolutely nada. That's disappointing. You waste a lockpick on that. Come on, man. Right. Um, let's see if we can get over there. Oh, yeah. I mean, this was a thriving town once upon a time, wasn't it? Right. You guys are just hopped up on Elixir, huh? Eh? Sit down, get up, be quiet, let me do my thing. Alright, so there's... Oh my god. Rats. I'm getting a bit of lag here, guys. I admit. Mm. 
the game is having a little bit of a moment. Please stand by. Okay, so this definitely goes in the back of the um, the town that we were in. So it's rest, as it were. Um, okay. This place was bombed to hell, wasn't it? Wow, okay, so that just opened up a hole. That's it's almost like Pike's Reach, isn't it? This is crazy. Sorry to interrupt the episode, guys. I just wanted to say a really quick and big thank you to uh, my Patreon supporters, Twitch subs, and YouTube channel members. You guys really go above and beyond to help me and the channel out. Don't forget, as one of those supporters, you do get access to exclusive servers, including Imperion, V Rising, Valheim, Avorian, Howlworld, and Ark currently up. Periodically, we have seven days to die servers. And anything else popular that sort of crops up generally I'll spin a server up for the community. You also get to enjoy some exclusive builds here in Imperion as an extra special thank you for the amazing support um, that you guys show me. And I, again, I really, really appreciate it. So thank you again. And I hope that in some small way I can give back through some of these perks and stuff like that. If you're interested in helping me out and becoming a supporter, do check out the links down in the video description to become a channel channel member links to my patreon uh, or over to my twitch channel and become a sub over there don't forget that any tier of support gets you access to my supporter servers the exclusive servers and the build here everything is managed through discord so make sure that you join my discord there is more information there about the whole thing as well okay sorry to interrupt back to the episode okay Lots of little grapply things to get you on the ropes. I, I love that they built a town underneath a huge, like in a cavern. <laughs> that is how you keep it cool. Keep the entire town cool and away from the heat. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Oh, something just died. Okay, so I don't think there's anything, like, anything to write home about down here. There is that one... The basement here. Oh, okay, right, I see. Um, hang on, though. Secret door. Secret door! Yeah! There's more Bobby boys. Alright. Let's move forward. <laughs> I didn't see him then. You coming around? Oh, you got stuck on the door. There you go. Let me let me get that for you. What happened to the AI? Never noticed how dumb they were. Dum dums, dum 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 dums. Lots of mycelia. Mycelia! Secret door! Ooh! Secret door and passageway. And a chest. Yes. Right, the smashy smashy. Always some goodies. Now, what I would... Now, what would be, like meta right if there was a secret door inside a secret door that would get me excited hi hello <laughs> just doing some chopping don't mind me oh i got overconfident there thought i could kill him in one hit it was not to be he killed me well he didn't kill me but you know you hurt. Okay. Um, this way? Question mark? I don't know. Yeah, possibly. Hello? Oh. Hi. There's lots of dead rats in here already. The, the rats just eat themselves. <laughs> I 
tell you what, mate. Turn around and go home. Why did they do that? They just turned around and started sauntering off. Oh, so this is an elixir. Um... Okay, well, this town was a, a part of its own demise. To be honest. Scavenger Arena. Oh, boy. You gotta learn a thing or two about. Oh, there she is. You're going down, you're going down, you big stupid moose. Alright, running. Running. I don't mind if she gets me with that poison stuff. That's pretty much me done. He's going down there. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Bye bye. Thunder builds, dudes. <laughs> Absolutely laid waste. What's up? hitboxes alright good here we got the plants and seedlings almanac was in the matron uh, I thought it was going to be in a chest but there we go freaking mission accomplished guys not only that but in absolute glorious style of awesomeness at the same time you're welcome this display of amazingness was brought to you by me Spange the one and only. What can I say? Except. Yeah, loot. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, i got to be honest. I was going to double down on the ego. Um, right. So, that's a tumbleweed. Don't need to fight that. I mean, I could. Probably lose. When we fight a tumbleweed, dudes. Hardcore. Okay, so the matron came out of here. I'm hoping like some, some backroom loot here. Backroom action. Again with a lag. Frames. Here we go. Right, a note to Kendall. Sister, have my notes gotten through to you? I've missed you greatly this past year. That vile contractor tried to lock me up in a cellar in Jasper Isles. But you were correct. He couldn't keep me shackled for long. I'm sorry I've been out of touch. I've been keeping my head down. Umber Hollow isn't any better or worse than Surat's rest. Two sides of the same coin. Like us, more bar fights, perhaps. But I can handle them. Uh, the Nomad highla Highlands are without order. One day, we must eclipse this chaos, sister. What do you say? Your sister, Lupa. So Lupa and Kendra. Two of the uh, scavenger matrons, I guess. Hopped up on frickin' Elixir and driven mad by it. So, yeah. It's good that we're murdering them. We just, um... A bit of family-related murder. You know, they... They keep it in the family? I don't know. Anyway. Um, let's go over here. This is a tower. Hang on. Is there something in here? No. Disappointing? Alright, I think we're done in the arena... That was fun. We still have plenty of Surat's Rest left to explore. Like, you know, it is basically a, a little mini Pike's Reach, isn't it? A really mini Pike's Reach, because I realise how big that place is. I still haven't been back to, like, properly dig through it and stuff. Uh, right. Where on earth 
What on earth and why, why on earth? Hey. Right. That was fun. That was more interesting than the boss fight. <laughs> oh. We done here? Anybody else want to have a little go? No? Funny that. Meat's run out again. Well, that meat runs out really quickly. It makes no sense. The vegetable will run out the quickest. The water. No ratty boys. Okay. I mean, I'm quite happy to say Surat's Rest conquered, beaten, defeated, eaten. Um... What do you guys think? No chest here. And the training dummy. Bloody boys. The night is upon us. So, let's wisp it. I don't know, I think Suits Rest would have been nice. Back in its heyday. What a little town, isn't it? We've got over here just a candle. Well. Let's go around a bit, doesn't it? Ninety nine, sleep tight. Don't let the poison arrows bite. Scavenger loot. Ah. So this is where they've been hiding everything, is it? None can fool me. Thor came back from that scouting mission last night. He chucked his dusty bag with scrolls at me and said, It's the only thing they could scavenge. I know that fool well enough to see when he's lying through his teeth. My old friend pocketed a treasure for himself. But I won't rat him out. Instead, we'll gift that almanac to the matron as tribute. And the treasure, well... Thor will have to share. Whatever he looted from Queen Jessamine's tent will be stashed away at his favourite spot. I reckon after all this time, he still hasn't found a better hiding place than the top of that old watchtower. Is that that old watchtower that we went to? That we've already been at? Old watchtower. Mm. I'm not sure if it's going to be marked, actually. I suspect it's... It's that one right there by the Southern Caravan. I don't know for sure. But I'm not seeing anything else marked, so... That old watchtower. At the top here, um, there's a little chest just over here under an explodey barrel. And that just netted me the Wildwood Shortbow 20 power. Now, the legendary Fell Commander bow that was 22 power, fully upgraded. This thing will be 24 power. But piercing damage, shroud magic, shroud magic, and precise. So, an extra 8 damage on top of that as well. But the Fel Commander bow, 0. 0.6 draw speed. It has the same draw speed. But this thing has got the vicious, the critical hit chance, the stamina leech, and brutal. So I still think that even though this thing's more powerful, technically, it's not as good as this thing. So I'm going to keep hold of this thing a little bit longer. Just its, it's extra perks are just like, mm, damn. They are proper ouchies. So we're going to go ahead and salvage that one. But it's good to know. There's actually several wells in Surat's Rest as well. So if you keep an eye out, collect some water for the farm. Oh, that's I received your note and just in time too. The patrols down here check every shipment thoroughly. The rumors of a Maholo who you speak are uh, are false? Yes, yesterday we held a funeral for a young girl who was murdered up there in Surat's Rest, but I felt the same way when speaking with you in the market. 
Intrigued to find a common, decent person amidst all the crimes committed where you, where you are from. Everything from racketeering to corrupt courts and police to widespread fraud. Perhaps we are both falling victim to decades of misspoken words. Are we not so alike, you and I? Sincerely, Emma. Oh, Emma. Can't beat him, join him. Just get on with some crime. Ooh. That is not what I meant to do. Been a lot of that today. No, Wispy! Come back! Yeah. Just in time for the sun to rise, we've made it. The top of Surat's Rest. And I can look over now and I can I can honestly say, yeah, I think I've been in every building. I think I've killed every bad guy. Apart from this guy right here. Oh. That didn't work out quite as I planned. Sit down. There we go. Every bad guy. <laughs> Again. <laughs> And every chest? I just found another one. Crikey! You think you've been through it all? <laughs> just keep finding more stuff. Alright. That's it. I'm confident that's it. Sure. Uh, so we're going to head home. Got no room left, so I'll head back and unload this stuff. But so it's rest is done. So we're going to move on now. I'm still keeping an eye out. I, I probably want to set up a base just like out over here so it's on the edge of the desert between the two biomes because I think if I set up here, I'm only going to be traveling more and more that way anyway. Um, and obviously we've got fast travels on this side anyway to the manor. So I think we're going we're gonna to penetrate deep into the arid highlands here or into at least the border of the desert before I set up base somewhere. So we're going to proceed over into the Shroud next, uh, the Blacksmith's Request, uh, Umber Hollow, Tanning station, this sort of middle line here, and see what the devil is going on. There is one thing I need to do out here, and I keep forgetting to do, and that is mine some fossilized stone, uh, bone rather. We've been past it. I walked straight past it, so he actually picks them up. Now I can make fossilized bone arrows. Yay! Welcome home. Look, crops, including wheat. All right, we'll get that in a second. We can make flour from the grinder. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the almanac, not with the farmer in there, but in her little house here, in the barn. Get a bit of furniture in here. Next to the table, next to the bookshelf. Yeah, right here, I think. Nice. And it's cosy. Cosy, cosy. All right, let's talk to the farmer. She wants to have a natter. Oh, I thought she did anyway. Um... Okay, so we can now create the oven, though. So we're going to go ahead and put that in my house. All this, ultimately, uh, will end up needing to be moved to the new place. Put an oven there. I put my throne upstairs. In the throne room? <laughs> All right, so what does this make? This makes flatbread, which is salt, water, and flour. Uh, okay, so what happened to the water that I picked up? That's gone somewhere, and I'm not sure where. <laughs> All right, well, at least we can harvest some wheat. And we're getting straw for that. Look at that. Yes. We need to make more wheat seeds, though, before we do anything else. So that's corn... Beets. Wheat, here we go. Wheat grains. Let's split that. And put eight in there. And that's going to create nothing because we need the fossilized bone dust that I was talking about earlier. But we've got the straw at least anyway. Um, and the grinding stone, which is Balthazar over here. I might need to create another one of those and just shove it down like, you know, in some way useful. Because, you know, this isn't useful. <laughs> Change that to flour. 
three. Three flower. Woo! <laughs> Star bakery. <laughs> yeah, not really, right? Oh, hello. What do you want? Sun Temple Stories. Heading to the Kinderways. Best be on your guard. My Auntie Ellen was cursed in one of them. Sun Temples struck by this ghostly skull from below. She said teeth chattering. Tis true. Well, most likely. You know, Ellen, as always a telltale, but never a liar. Isn't Emily from the round, uh, from round the Kinderways? Maybe she knows. I bet she'd babble. This guy is such a shit stirrer. He really is. Right, I do have some straw somewhere already. Here we go. That's 47 straw now. Okay, that's pretty good. I can't remember now what we needed it for, but, you know, we have it. Anyway, Farmer uh, Emily wants to talk to us. Curses! Haunted sun temples. Why, I live near one. It was awful. See, our temples are hollowed, hallowed halls and burial sites honoring the ancients. The spark there is led by prayer and shields are dead from harm. But as the shroud spread, its light dulled. Maybe our faith wavered when the catacombs came alive. Metal clanks, dark whispers. I held my prayers inside the tavern ever since. So spooky. Sun temple stories. All right, I know, I know. There's a sun temple like right here as well. You know, we just jumped into it, and the chaos stream is a bit funny. Just like let's go over here. Ah! Okay. Um. So the water then must have ended up in here. Yep. Forty-two water. Okay. Now uh, I do need salt. Let's split this because I don't think twenty-one water is necessary. Salt and flour. Now the salt I'm going to pinch from the drying rack over here. I think we're going to need. We're going to need more salt. <laughs> we're going to need to go salt mining. <laughs> we are out of salt. There's 44 here. I'll put that into the oven. Oh, there's loads actually. But I say loads. We got some. We got some salt. Uh, I don't need much more dried fur. So actually, I was going to put that in there and make more dried fur, but I think I'll keep hold of it. I think I'll keep hold of it. Uh, because we will need it for the tanning station to make leather. I know that. And it only actually produces one flower. I, I was hoping that, like, the one... I mean, it, it gives it here, so it says one, doesn't it? But uh, I was hoping, like, it was, like, ten, you know? Q one cued equals ten flower or something like that. But no, it's a one-to-one. -one. That is a brutal ratio. How much flour do we need? We do need just one to make a flatbread. So I'm going to make a flatbread. And um, I'm going to see... What it actually does. So quick check here on strengthening the flame four to five. I think five is the highest you can go. Um Bell Monstrosity Head is I don't know, I presume that's the next boss that we need to deal with. Roy boss. Roy boy. Uh we need three more of those. Tin ore we haven't found yet. Ammonia glands we haven't found yet. Fossilized bone, obviously. Mint mushroom meat as well. Haven't found yet. Uh but we got plenty of sparks. We got you know, just about enough sparks. Um so yeah, we're not it's not terrible, but I because, yeah, it, it's not terrible. <laughs> I, it's quite terrible. When you look at the numbers, it's utterly terrible. Um, but it's, it's, yeah, we'll find out. I mean, we're, we're just into um, the Kindle Waste, whatever they call it, right? So it'll be all right. I need to get rid of this one. And when I found a new base, I need to get rid of that one as well. So I'm going to travel there, dismantle it, and then head up, like, this direction, like a kind of, you know, curvature. Anyway, little check. We do need, we've got 150 poison, copper poison arrows. I'm going to try and make those work for me. I might do a little bit more melee to preserve that, because I know I can go through about 200 or so plus arrows in a, in a run. Yeah. Um, but everything else is good. Food-wise, seven chamomiles. 25 stews, 20 meats just topped up, some popcorn. I could do with some more chamomile teas, but they take water, obviously. Uh, which is getting a little precious now with all the growing of the crops and the crops and stuff. Um, I do have a well over here that I need to um, keep remembering to harvest. I mean, most of the time I do remember to do it every day, but um, sometimes I forget. So we mentioned briefly last episode the large backpack which requires leather. We need to get that which requires the drying rack um, the uh, uh, panning station, of course. And then we saw the hunter set and the sharpshooter set. Now, I didn't go through the stats on these at the moment uh, at the time that I unlocked them, but uh, just quickly, the sharpshooter is all about sort of critical strike, ranged stuff, stamina, skill shot damage, stamina, 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 
Get that minus 600 stamina re regeneration delay, plus two. The Hunter set was all about range critical strike damage, stamina and health, range damage, versus flying enemies? Okay. Sprint speed. And, yeah, so the Hunter set sucks, and the Sharpshooter set is pretty good. It's pretty good, I think. That's the one-on-one, -on -one, and that is going to be the one that costs more, in fairness. Uh, resin, linen, leather, mint mushroom meat, mint mushroom meat leather, mint mushroom meat leather, mint mushroom meat leather. We're going to need a lot of leather. That's 4, 10, 13, 17... Ooh, 23. 23 leather for a full set. Alright. Now, is our flatbread done? Yes, it is. Gives us four strength. Okay, so flatbread is more of a... Um, a warrior thing then, isn't it? Rather than something that we would necessarily use. Because, I mean, we get health, regeneration, endurance, dexterity, constitution. Strength is good for the smacky-smacky on the heady-heady, but not much for the bows. So I'm not too worried about getting flatbread then in that case. Vegetable soup is the next one up, and that requires forest beets, bell peppers, and tomatoes. Actually, sorry, pardon me. I have some beets here ready to harvest. Need to remember to put some in for seeding. Now, where was the beets? Not you, but you. So we'll put nine in there. Get some more beets. Put the other beets in there. And that means that we can actually make vegetable soup. Bingo. Look at that. That is four dexterity, that stuff. Bang. And that's 20 of it. Lovely. Oh, my God. Dudes, we are doing great on food. We are doing so good on food. In fact, it's so well. I'm going to put the vegetable, leftover vegetable soup there. I'll take the flatbread with me. But, yeah, I probably won't use it. Might just snack on it. Just for a giggle. Tasty, tasty snack. Snack, snack, snack. Do need the large chest as well. Need to unlock that. Right, that's bronze, I think. Okay. The day is over halfway through. But I think we can get something done. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to dismantle this guy. Extinguish flame. Extinguish flame. Thank you. Let's move. Heading in a northeasterly sort of direction more easterly than north we need some ruboy ruboy i see a chicken i see a random tower more bell peppers there's a there's a bandit chasing it hello <laughs> i'm going up here am i <laughs> all right no clearly <laughs> i'm after the fucking peppers Stop. Look at the peppers. Then harvest them. I think the chicken fell off the cliff. There's a joke there. Right, what have we got here? This looks like a, a little bandit outpost. peppers oh we're on the road again I'm not singing it don't worry no put it in your head though haven't I <laughs> flame shrine here let's head towards that oh pretty cat Ready for that. Uh, hey, they catch you un unawares and they are. Uh, what the heck am I? What? The Cinder Vault? <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> what? What am I? 
wow, that is a hard respawn, that is, isn't it? That's because I it's because I deleted the flame shrine, I suppose. Um well I guess that means the closest one is that one. Damn, there's the crow flies that one, but I don't think there's any way to traverse that gap, so long run. Damn kitty cat bested me. I had no food or anything on. Tried to get some space to um shoot him with a bow and arrow, but he just got me in the back. An absolute delinquent. Anyway, let's cry about it later. Let's go back to my backpack. <sighs> sure where the bloody cat's gone, but there's my stuff. I have lost now, rested though. Uh, okay, so I think the flame shrine is on top of this hill. And we have to go up around here. Losing daylight quick now, but I've lost rested anyway, so I'm not too upset about heading home. I'm just hoping to make a little bit more progress than this, you know? Flame shrine achieved. There's a spark. All right, this is a good jump off, though. There is an entire, like, castle thing going on over there. There is a huge crowd valley between me and the desert over there, but I know that that is... Like, that's where the last sun temple is, basically. You have to go, like, all the way around. Um, that is the direction in which I would like to go. Like, hop, skip, and a jump across this shroud. And then it puts me, like, right in this area, just below Umber's Hollow. Let's see if I can get there before the sun goes down. Yeah, probably not, but let's try. That is such a long way down, isn't it? <laughs> Into that shroud. The thing is, like, going down in that shroud... Ultimately, I'm going to have to go down there, but it's just, it's down in these holes. I'm not even sure, like, I can get back out of them. You know, and obviously when you're in Shroud, you've got this, this freaking timer. Tick, 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 ticking away. So, so I'm kind of like hesitant to go down there because I don't know if I can get back out again. Hello, boys. Level 20s. That's a cat. Hello. Ah, oh, not this again. Oh, you got to be fucking with me, really? Seriously? <sighs> yeah, kill each other. Go on. That was... That was just distasteful, is what that was. <laughs> it was distasteful. <laughs> I mean, Christ's sake, man, what is going on? This place is kicking my ass. All right. Now that the sun's going down, another corpse run. I think we'll go home after this. I think that's what it's telling us, isn't it? Right, got my stuff back. Um, let's see if we can make a flame altar over here. How many stones? Just the three. Two more. I think I'm going to just get stone from chipping away at this, because I, I don't think it... No, it gives me limestone. Okay. I need those little surface rocks then. Here we go. Here's one. Right. Flame altar achieved. Let's get a little further along the road. Avoid those guys. Success. There's Vukar here. Here we go up there. See if we can get on top of that over there. We we'll go up that hill. Let's assume that's a Vukar cave. Cats. No, you cheeky fuck. I was rolling. Jesus, that thing going to kill me again. My God, they hit hard when they do that pounce, right? Wow. All right. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This place freaking got one of these assholes in it. And one of these assholes. What 
are they doing up here? I really had to fight for this location, huh? <laughs> right. Flame altar achieved. Respawn location achieved. Safety achieved. <laughs> Multiple unnecessary deaths achieved. Okay. Woo! I went from an absolute god to an absolute freaking plebe and pummeled pie with egg on my face. There we go. That is that is a pretty well rounded off episode, I'd say. <laughs> Already. <laughs> okay. So, let's head home. We're going to come back here, and then we're going to head north over here. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of like where I was thinking of setting up base. I'm just like, I'm looking around here. It is dark, though, so that doesn't help. Um, there's that whole thing over that bridge there, but that's a huge POI. I doubt we'd be able to build there. There's a car base here. There's this big cliff section here, right there, that thing. I wonder if we can get on top of that. That would be a nice place to build, put a nice tower as well, and we have a good jump off. So, lots of potential. We need to inspect it uh, in the morning when there's light, though. Do a little bit more exploration. Let's lick our proverbial wounds, get rested. Other things. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is pretty much as good a place to end as... Anyway, we did a good amount of progress today. Completing Surat's rest and getting the almanac, unlocking the oven and new foods and stuff like that. And uh, we're going to spend next episode looking at our new base location in this area over here. I think the top of this hill is probably going to be our champion of uh, locations. And we're also going to explore down here into the Umber Hollow, into the Shroud, get some more flame shrines and stuff like that. So, not much progress as I thought. I'd hope we'd get sort of up here a little bit today, but it is what it is. And getting my butt kicked by sneaky backstabbing cats didn't help either, but there we are. That is the game. In any case, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, and thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.